Erica, within the hour, we have learned that AJ died of brain trauma from being beaten. I was in court earlier today. Joanne Cunningham and Andrew Friend Sr. listened as prosecutors described how the parents allegedly forced AJ into a cold shower and beat him to death. And all of this happened days before they reported him missing. Both parents spoke only to answer the judges yes or no questions. Joanne Cunningham appeared to be fighting back tears as the judge read her charges involving the murder and allegations she beat AJ more than a month earlier on March 4th. He was a missing child. Investigators now say when Andrew Friend Sr. made this 911 call, AJ was already dead and the father had buried him. You know where he might have went? No. Um, we can't with the neighborhood. Yeah, I went to the local park, um, the, the, the local gas station down here where we sometimes take them to buy treats. Prosecutors said in court that both parents forced AJ into a cold shower for an extended period and beat him on April 15th. He died, and investigators say on that same day, AJ's dad brought his body to a field in rural Woodstock. Days later, on April 18th, he told police he couldn't find AJ. And when I got back from the doctor's appointment, um, and I checked in on him, said good morning, and he wasn't there. So that would have been what time was that? about between 8.15, 8.30. The next day, he publicly pleaded for AJ to, quote, please come home. We're, we're just extremely worried. If anybody knows anything about where Andrew Jr. is, please, please contact the Crystal Lake Police Department. Let's get him home. On April 24th, Police found AJ wrapped in plastic in a shallow grave. Now a judge set bond for each parent at $5 million. We also heard from one of AJ's former preschool teachers today. She said he was a very sweet boy with the best smile. Live in Crystal Lake, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.